Okay. 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 Everything should be hand. Uh, everything should be uh, away except for your property sheet. Stop. Hands free navigation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this will be the last day in class you'll be able to work on it. So, and from this point on, you'll just have to uh, take some time before or after school or during the study hall to come in and wrap it up. If you need that, that much time. It could happen, but I want to give you at least the option if you need to. So, will we be checking the calculators? And as you guys work, I'm going to hand back some papers. Uh, papers hand back, you can always make fixes, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill, make fixes, turn it back in. Yes, sir. I need to make some fixes. We'll go through the instructions one more time. All right, um, test out. Obviously, um, you're already probably starting to work on it. You should know where you kind of left off. If you don't, that's fine. I'm going to go through the instructions. If you're following with me, here we go. Um, let me stay home. Okay. Okay. Um, number one, two, and three. Make sure you're doing substitutions. It could be sines and cosines. It could be the Pythagorean identities. It could be conjugate rules. It could be you know factoring skills. Whatever you're doing, you're substituting, trying to make the more complicated side equal the other side if it's possible. Number three, you're trying to simplify that thing down to a single trig function. Okay. Make sure you're working on that. Um, it shouldn't take too many lines. I think I can do it in about. Now two, two oh, lines, two or three, five. but make sure you're doing correct math if you're simplifying. Don't think, don't do incorrect math there. I've that seen people just cross things this out and it doesn't work that way. Okay. <laughs> um, four and five, you have to do the sum and difference formulas. Those are on this little slips of paper that you have. If you have this out, you can use it. If not, you can use the, uh, the property sheet. It's on there as well, it's just on the back. Um, doing the sum and difference, make sure you're picking angles that are on the unit circle to add or subtract to make that. Then you have to like plug in the values, the fraction. Your answer should be a fraction, and it may not be pretty, but it will be some form of a fraction. Same with number five. Um, I would probably convert that to degrees before I start number five. That way you kind of know what you need to add or subtract. Uh, the, those do, uh, those uh, transformation things are on the board, so you know how to go from like reading to degrees or back and forth. Yeah, those are on the board on Friday. Uh, six, that thing is a sum and difference formula. You have to convert it back to the simplified version. Go back to what the original thing should have been on this thing. Like, if you give me the complicated side, go back to the original side, and then give me the final answer. Give me, super, give me two yes. steps. Good call. Seven, draw the triangle. Then give me the answers for the double angles of each of those trig functions, all three of them. You do not have to simplify those. Just oh, plug in your numbers. and just, I want to see you have your formula, and you have the numbers plugged in. That's what I want to see. Okay? Eight, I'm giving you a double angle formula there. You have to go back to what the original one should have been, and then give me the exact answer of the fraction in the end. Okay? The exact value, not a decimal. Okay? Um, nine, you have to simplify the complicated side and go back to the original side. It should take about two to three lines of work to kind of get that done. Um, that particular primary number on that right side, it's two theta on the top, that's cosine two theta. On the bottom, that's cosine squared. Um, there's kind of easy steps to do there, but it should work out. You do have to show the steps and how you get there. Don't just set things equal to each other and say it works. You have to actually show idea. steps. There's like two or three steps you can do. Uh, number 10, that's a half angle. You, you have to figure out what they took half of, then plug it into the formula and actually figure out the exact answer. It should be a fraction in the end. Uh, 11, you're going to draw the triangle, figure out the half angle formulas by just writing down the half angle formulas and plugging the numbers in from the, the triangle. The big thing I'm checking for is plus or minus signs. Uh, 12, um, draw the triangle, um, find the missing parts on it. You know, there's missing angles, there's missing walls, find all the missing parts. Now this one has potential or has, you know, two different triangles, you only have to solve for one of them. Okay. Uh, 13, find the missing part from the story problem, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, to show the work there, it's a law of sign problem, kind of like number 12, that's law of sign. Uh, let's see, what are we on the back page? 14, draw the triangle, find the missing parts, I think you're missing all the angles. Um, just make sure you're using the law of cosine and you're doing an inverse cosine to figure out your final answer. Okay, the formulas for the law of cosine and law of sine are on that property sheet. Um, 
You should must consider right now. They're on the side of the unit circle. They're on the very right side of the top. Oh. They're on there. Okay? Um, 15, find the missing part that's on that picture, the, the wall that's missing. The triangle's drawn for you, so it's pretty easy. You don't really have to overthink that one. And then, um, then you have to find the, the bearing. On the bearing, you can just give me the angle inside the triangle. That would still work. Okay, so um, that's I would consider that a bearing because it is an angle on the inside. So you could do it that way. Um, there's always a couple different ways to do it. But um, just make sure you're uh, uh, you're taking your time to try to finish up what you have today. Um, if you have any questions, you can raise your hands. But I'm going to let you have the rest of the class day, about a half hour or so for work. Again, if you don't finish today, that's fine. Just come in during the study hall or after school for four school. Okay. All right, the rest of time is yours. If you get completed, finished, done, make sure you put that at the top. You actually write finish, done, complete, whatever you want to put. And then you have to turn it in. Make sure you put it in my basket, though. And then I'm going to hand back some paper. Double check your grades online today to see if you forgot to turn in something. I already got some of turn in stuff today. Yeah. Uh, that. No. That. that was me that did that. Oh, that was good foot skill, Mr. Ward. You should play soccer. I wish I would. I mean, half soccer. You could start a soccer club. Ow! Don't Shh. hit me. Square up. <laughs>